Hey everyone, how y'all doing? I guess it's about time I did a EDC update slash pocket dump video. Uh, it's been four or five months since I've done one. And let me talk about that for just a, a moment. I like doing pocket dump videos. They're actually some of my highest viewed videos. But to tell you the truth, I got pretty sick of the same asinine comments and questions that I I usually get on them and I'm still getting them from previous videos like why so much stuff why do you have two flashlights why do you got three three knives what no gun why don't you carry this instead of that you know I'll take cons constructive criticism but when the questions or comments are bullshit, I just delete them, and I kind of got tired of them. But, I get a lot of good comments, and I've had a couple people actually ask for a pocket dump video. So, I'm going to do one. And, whether you like it or not, don't like what I carry, or if I carry too much, or... You would carry this or that over this and that. Let me know, but don't be an ass. Don't be an ass about it. Anyways, guess we get started. Now, this, what I'm going to show you has basically been my carry all winter long. Now, I do swap knives. I swap different hanks in and out. Um, occasionally, a different pen, different flashlight. But this is basically has been it. So, start out with my little EDC pouch. Um, I'm not going to go into this. I'll actually do another video on what I carry in this. But this is basically my work pouch. I carry this in my <clears throat> jacket pocket. You know, on the front. And um, I use everything in here at work on a daily basis. And outside of work, I don't I don't really carry this in my in my person, but it goes with me everywhere. But yet yeah, I can still shove this in my back pocket if I want it with me, you know, all the time. But yeah, this is a Viper Aid VE3 pouch, organizer pouch. Got some Molly webbing here, two pockets, one big pocket, a zipper compartment pocket, and it's been holding up pretty good. You can see it's kind of dirty. I should try to wash it, clean it, but yeah, I'll do a different video on everything in here, but I just want to show it because five days out of the week, I'm carrying it with me for eight hours, and the rest of the time, if I leave the house, this goes with me, and there's plenty of times I go and actually use something out of it, but yeah, so that's that. Kind of put it up there so you can see part of it, remind you. Um, then I got my phone. I'm recording on my phone. Well, well, we'll get to that when I get to that pocket. So, besides the pouch, you know, I have my keys. And this is a, I can't remember the names of them. But these two things are from Tales of Knives. Qu quality leather. They were not very expensive. Got this um, clip. Got this little key keeper. I got like three things in there. My truck key. And I've been carrying this Civivi Blade HQ little Torx. Rent or driver got a T8 on one end, T6 on the other. Comes in pretty useful, especially if you're carrying carrying a knife and a pivot or pocket clip screw loosens up. I got the hiccups. But yeah, I've been carrying this for the most part there for a while. I carried this. Little carabiner multi tool thing from Old Old Light. Now, one thing I did do, I took off my I1R2 
Olight and my Victornox um, Classic SD. Otherwise, that would be hooked on there like that. But I didn't want all this stuff. I wanted to carry this for a while, so I took these off for now. But yeah, this is my key keychain setup. Um, also on my belt. All winter long, I've been carrying my Leatherman Wave Plus with a bit set and a bit extender. And I've been using this Skimp Solutions sheath that a friend sent me to try out. And he said I could keep it or send it back. I guess I'm keeping it. I've had it forever. I've used it. Awesome, awesome little sheath to carry a multi-tool or some other EDC items. I love the clip. It's easy to take off your belt. You don't have to like fish everything out, you know, once on your hip. You can pull it off, open it up, see everything. Now, sometimes I do carry a Olight i3e with it. So that would be, you know, a redundant flashlight second flashlight but it's part of the toolkit um i haven't been doing that so often anymore but yeah the skimp solution um sheath case awesome nice compact little thing easy iron off the belt i love that um <clears throat> the leatherman wave plus like i said this thing I've carried it all winter. I, I'm so used to having this, you know, the weight on my hip. I don't notice it anymore. Um, but this is going to soon be swapped out for something else that's coming. Um, yeah, my watch. Still have my Garmin Vivo Active 4. You know, sports watch. Smart watch, um, tracks your steps, you can do activities, cycling, walking, running, swimming, all kinds of stuff. Um, got, must be some soap on the inside, my band there. Um, smart notifications, so I'll get notifications on it. Yeah, I really like the, I really like that, it's a good watch. I actually bought that. Off Amazon, it was a refurbished model. Um, a little bit over a year ago now, or just just a year. I think, it's, yeah, just just a year now. And I haven't had any problem with it. Um, I do have this hair tie on there, just because the strap keeper, somehow it came off. So I needed something to hold the end of the strap. But I found it, so I left that on because, yeah, it's kind of got stretched out. It's going to be easy to lose it again, but that's the only issue with that. Okay, so these are things that are not in my pockets. Now, get to, getting to my pockets, using my right back pocket, I'll have... A small hank, usually a Gondek EDC hank, and this this hank is um, from the Hank of the Month Club. This was February, yeah, February's. Now sometimes I'll carry a different one. Obviously, I swap them in and out. Um, sometimes I'll carry a bandana. I got a few. I got a camouflage one. I got this one that has. Spider-Man on it. Kind of stole. It looks like a classic red bandana, but it's different. I got a Marvel one. So I just got these. I've carried them. These two. I've carried them a couple of times. This one I've carried quite a bit. Just wad them up, stick them in the back pocket. They're they're nice. If you think you're gonna get your hands dirty or wet or whatever. 
<clears throat> use those. These ones are nice with a microfiber backing to clean off glasses, phone screens, camera lens, knife blades. So usually, usually though, it's a Gondek EDC Hank. And then I have a cheap old plastic comb and I, I always go back to this. I've carried this for quite a while, all winter recycled firefighter wallet now this is not the um, fire hose one it's like ballistic nylon um, if I can find one real quick where they all go yeah you know, I've gone different ones I got red blue and green these are made out of actual fire hose Oh, you can see the difference in material. I love these wallets. They're lightweight. You know, they're they're flexible. They hold a ton of cards. Got an elastic strap on the back. I got like a $20 bill back there right now. And besides all my cards, inside I actually have a Wallet Ninja. I got this for Christmas. And I threw it in my wallet. I haven't, I've only used this one time. And not for anything that's listed on here. I actually, I ended up using it to scrape ice off my windshield. It wouldn't, actually I couldn't find my ice scraper. And it was really, really heavy, thick ice on the windshield. But yeah, I, I used that. Um. And it didn't do any damage to it. But yeah, you got a couple of wrenches. You got a little eyeglass, a little screwdriver, bottle opener, can opener, um, little sharp edge here, another little screwdriver, another screwdriver. I mean, these things, you know, are kind of gimmicky, but they actually, when you need something, you don't have anything else. Yeah, they come in handy. Fits in the wallet. I've been carrying it. Um, so that's it. That's my right back pocket usually. Sometimes I'll shove this beastly thing in my back pocket. And it fits. It's big and bulky and it'll, it'll drag your, your pants down a little, but it's doable. Usually I just carry it if I'm not at work. Now my left back pocket bad habit I know I don't usually show this but I carry a can of grizzly snuff usually it's this brand in my left back pocket and usually that's it um, once in a while I'll throw something back there a little pry bar or something but usually it's just that can of chew now you get to my left front pocket I will have my phone that I'm recording on this is my old phone use that for a stand-in so I don't have a case or anything on this mine has a small thin rubber case that's in my left front pocket along with my Victorinox Tinker and I have a key smart key dangler and I just clip this over the hem of my pocket and it just kind of keeps it upright in one place in my pocket. So that's there. And then if I don't have a shirt with a, you know, t-shirt or a button-up flannel shirt or something that has a pocket, I'll put my pen in my left front pocket. And for the most part, it has been this Olight O-Pen Mini. This thing's tiny. It's not much longer than the Victorinox. It's aluminum. It's got this um, helix cut out. So it's really lightweight. A little bolt action pen. It's just big enough for me to use. So I've been carrying that one. So if you're looking at me, looking at the front of me, 
This is in the outer side of my pocket. That's next to it. Then my phone would be next to that. It all fits. It's comfortable. There's plenty of room. Um, these two things might, you know, knock together, but nothing really touches, you know, my phone. So moving to my right front pocket is where I carry quite a few things. Um, <clears throat> in the little fifth watch pocket, the coin pocket in my jeans, I've been carrying the Angry Watermelon, the Rough Rider Tadpole. This is such a fun little knife. I have this with me all the time. Um, why? I mean, look, look at this. It's smaller than my pinky. It's, it's really tiny. Um, this thing's actually pretty useful. Man, if you got like a clamshell packaging, this thing will pierce into that. And you can just cut right around whatever's in the package. I mean, I've done it. Here's, here's a package from a Gerber... CDC money clip I got for Christmas and that's what I used. I just cut it right around. Works great. Um good for opening, you know, Amazon packages, letters, whatever. It's just a, a cool little little knife. And it's fun. Someone asks to borrow a knife. I love taking this thing out and saying, here you go, and they look at it and like what is that? I say, it's an angry watermelon. Hashtag angry watermelon. But it is actually a Rough Rider tadpole. Um, model is RR2313. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, that's always with me because. I find it fun. Um, so, in my normal right hand pocket, front pocket, I just pocket drop a couple of things. One is my flashlight. This is a Rovivan Aurora A5X. Um, I love this light. I've carried it this has been my, my EDC light since I've gotten it. Well over six months, six, seven months now. But it's 650 lumen. It's got several different modes. Low, well, actually low, medium, high. And you got moonlight. So you get to that double click. Um, you triple click. It's got side lights, so you got like two different modes of white, low, high, then you got a red light. Awesome to look around a bedroom at night, you know, and the wife is sleeping, you know, she works nights. So if I have to go in there and look for something, the room's dark, you know, I can do this. She never even knows I'm in there unless I trip over something. Um, then it has a flashing red light, so it's going to flash. Fair warning. And I think that's cool. Um, if we're walking at night or something, and um, you can clip this on your backpack or your back pocket or something for visibility. But yeah, awesome light. You press and hold. It goes red iron turbo or max at 650 lumen. Awesome. I dig this light. It is so small. Again, look how small it is. It's smaller than my pinky. Lightweight. So I just dropped this in my front pocket. Along with that, I have this Victorinox. I just drop in my pocket. This is the Nail Clip 580. So what you got here, you got a pair of scissors that are awesome. 
works good on stray hair, stray mustache hair, whatever. Use your imagination, but it works great. He'll cut paper. This is um more of a winger style of um, scissor, but you have that. You have nail cleaner, nail file. You have a small pin blade. Very similar to what's on the um, classic. It might, it's a little, little longer, a little wider than on the classic. I don't really use that. This is a feature I use low. That's why it's called the nail clip. You pull this plastic tab back and up, up pops a pair of nail clippers. These are awesome. They work so good. The trim nails, especially if you rip a nail, you get, want to trim it up so you don't rip, tear it anymore. These things are excellent. Use them all the time. I wasn't carrying this. I just had it at home. But I started carrying it. I love having this in my pocket. So these two things are small, lightweight, plus Anyways, you get your tweezers and toothpick on this. But these things just, I dropped in my pocket. Another item I dropped in my pocket is this little tape measure. Um, it's an Ozark Trail 60 inch tape measure. The cloth or fabric tape measure. Um, you can find these in like the fishing section at Walmart very lightweight um you could hook it on a keychain or something um but yeah got centimeters on one side inches on the other pull it out stays push the button closes up so yeah i just dropped these in my right front pocket they lay in there move around do whatever they want to do I reach in, obviously, there's enough difference, I can feel which one I'm grabbing, but yeah, they ride in my right front pocket, and obviously, you can guess I carry a main pocket knife in my right front pocket, and for the last three weeks, it's been the same knife, it's three and a half weeks, um, and it's been... The Benchmade 940 Osborne. Um, absolutely dig this knife. I wanted it for so long, but it's, it's pretty pretty pricey at right around 200 bucks. And this is the original version. Green anodized aluminum scales so that titanium anodized purple backspacer. Now, I did put a deep carry pocket clip on it in place of the um, standard clip. And, yeah, I love this knife. Now, before I got this, you know, I rotated knives in and out all the time. But since I've gotten this and I'm trying to, you know, really test it out, this has been in my pocket for the last three and a half so weeks, and it's holding up excellent. I mean, I've dropped this thing several times, not because it's slip or anything, just because, well, one reason I'd be sitting there looking at it, fidgeting with it, sitting in my chair, my recliner, watching TV or whatnot, and I ended up like sitting it on my lap, and then I'd I forget about it and stand up and I launch it across the room. But yeah, real no damage to it. The only damage I've done to it, and I on my last video I did an update, but I did a little focus. I did chip the very, very, very tip of the blade. And I think I did that when we had that storm. We had a lot of freezing rain and ice, and I used it as an ice pick. I was trying to chip out all the ice around my truck doors because they were frozen shut. 
my only guess is that's when I did it. I didn't even notice it right away. But yeah, awesome knife. S30V steel. If you don't know what 940 is, it's a Warren Osborne design. But yeah, awesome. So that's been my knife. I've had other knives in my pocket this winter, but last three weeks it's been that one. And yeah, that's everything. Um, this right here is everything I carry, either on my person or in my pocket, you know, on my belt or my wrist or whatever. This I hooked to my belt loop. Awesome, awesome little setup. It was, 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 didn't cost a lot. It's from Tale of Knives. Um, I might do a video. Uh, I don't know if I'm, if I'm even going to get involved in that whole ordeal. But if you don't know, Leatherman, Tail of Knives, there's a thing going on where Tail of Knives makes awesome leather gear. And they make these pouches, belt holsters, sheaths, whatever you want to call them. And a lot of them are specifically designed to hold Leatherman tools. A wave, surge, charge, you know, all, all different kinds of tools. They've been making them for quite a few years. And then all of a sudden, Leatherman comes out. With the exact same thing. Basically copied what Tail and Nice were doing, made their own sheath, it has Leatherman st stamped on it, made in China, um, well, quite a bit cheaper than what Tail and Nice makes. Um, so, yeah, there's a whole, whole thing across the community about that. And that is part of the reason why this is probably the last time you'll see this as my EDC multi-tool. I'm getting something else. Now, I'm not going to throw away my Leatherman tools. I paid a lot of money for them. Excellent tools. I'm not going to get rid of that. I'll probably buy something else from Tales and Knives in the near future. But, yeah, enough about that. Um, probably next video, I'll go through this, everything I have in it, what's in it and why. But, I guess that's it for this pocket dump. Video's too long. I get complaints about my videos being too long. I ramble too much, but that's the way it is. So, do the usual. Hit the like button. Hit the dislike button. You know, if you don't like these videos, just hit the dislike button. Keep your comments to yourself, because most of them are bullshit. But, anyways, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until the next video, bye.